Hello, this is Tina. Okay, now we are on step five. In this uh, video, uh, I will show you how to uh, create instance of the serverless using reflection API. And then we have to have a map or mapping technology okay to hold url and servlet instance mapping and in java map is the best to do this case right which the key for the map gonna be the url the value gonna be the sub each servlet instance and uh, as I quickly mentioned in previous video, that servlet only one servlet per container, which is the servlet is a singleton. This is uh, uh, the also the be default behavior in like a framework Spring, and by default for Spring to load, uh, Spring initialize those beans. They are singleton, and. Um, the same case here, uh, in Tomcat, in all, uh, um, in Tomcat, um, Tomcat needed to call init method and needed to call destroy method of each servlet. But uh, if the servlet has uh, so many instances being created, it's really hard for uh, Tomcat to keep track of those instances. But a singleton is very easy, right? Only one. The same case for the spring. If we using sing, uh, if we override those um, lifecycle methods of uh, the spring uh, uh, of a spring bean, and uh, if we use a singleton, spring will keep track. Uh, will keep the reference of the created the uh, object which is spring bean the singleton the only one but if we're using prototype which means every time it's a uh, spring will create a instance of the class for us then spring won't keep track of that so the lifecycle destroy method it will never be called that's the same case in tomcat but tomcat only has one option if i'm wrong let me know okay which is the servlet only one instance in a uh, per container okay and uh, because of the behavior we know if we have an instance variable then it's not thread safe okay so just briefly talk about it. we probably will mention more in the future okay but uh, i couldn't uh, uh guarantee now okay um anyway uh let's go ahead and uh, uh write this handler ma map okay so go back to our code so here we already get a key and a value this value um when we're using the lambda key and a value both are the object and uh, we can create another class, another method, which is to call like a get servlet, get instance, right? Uh, servlet, we can call get servlet instance, okay? And here we have to give the class name, right? Class name, you also have to give the package, okay? And then we can using the reflection API to create a create instance for a class at runtime, and uh, the one is using the class dot phone name, and uh, sorry here we just pass the class name and dot uh, get a declared constructor okay, and then dot new instance okay, and here we have so many. Uh, exception we add uh, how about we add a try catch block the more action more action this one this one this one uh, more action so I'm going to try catch we add a try catch okay so here this one will give us a new right 
uh, we have to done casting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did I write it correct? Okay, correct now, right? Uh, you cannot directly uh, you cannot directly using new instance you cannot do like this way because this method is uh, deprecated and then we can using a uh, get declare constructor and uh, we will have a default one this one and it, you also can pass parameters like uh, string dot class if it have a string like this one you can give a int dot class and a string dot class because this one has two parameter and uh, this uh, method uh, the parameter are newable so uh, we don't have we're using a default one okay return and uh, we will return a now if we have uh, errors okay so this is a get server instance and now we can do yes we have to create a map which will hold the key value pair right key gonna be the url which is this url and the value no longer is this string it's gonna be the instance of that and by doing that uh by calling this get a server instance uh, we are uh, because we will call here. Uh, let down, let down, let down, let down, let down. Sorry, sorry. And let's create a map here. Map, okay. Uh, map, what is the key? Uh, key is the string, which is URL, right? And the value is what? Value is the servlet, right? HTTP servlet. Because our HTTP servlet is the generic one, okay? And here we have. Uh, hello world servlet and send up servlet when we actually uh instantiate it's gonna be polymorphism right here we call handlers equals new hashi map servlet and we have to import okay and now uh, for this piece okay we can remove and we can do what handlers dot put right and the key is what key Yes, this key. But this key, we have to custom uh, down casting to be string type. String type key, and the value is what? Value is called this method, right? And we give. Uh, we also need to down casting the value. Okay. Do Do you understand? Do you understand? Just put it in one 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 line. Okay. Uh, let me. Uh, let me put in multiple lines. So first we have to get a HTTP servlet, right? HTTP servlet, servlet equals get an instance. And here, because this value is an object type, we have to down casting to a string. We know they are string, right? And then we have to using handlers dot put. And a key is what? key is the key which is this value right but this is a, a object type we don't cast it to string okay and then here we put a servlet right and uh, and to be one line is like this this is one line like this one and we can remove this and one line we don't need to have this right because this is a by consumer like this so that's how this happened okay and now uh, almost is done and I want to do one more step so in by doing so far which yes where is actually handle the request where it should be this socket handler this part right so this part, this socket handle, this class is actually to handle each class, right? So here we have to pass this handler to this socket. Do you understand? Otherwise, uh, why we need, where, where do we use this handler in this class container, right? So here we will do something like here, private uh, map string HTTP servlet uh, handlers okay handlers right and this dot handlers or handlers equals and I'll have to pass this one here 
okay and uh, here will be handlers okay and now we will go back to here to when we call the actual thread or socket handle to handle each uh, client we have to pass the handlers so later on we can extract the get request and then grab the HTTP server lady to handle the request got me got 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 it oh, I, I think you got it. um I did something wrong <laughs> I shouldn't remove this this part we can we can do a simple test to see if everything works okay so how to do uh, how to do uh, we can how about we add something here before we start we want to make sure all the handlers is loaded successfully this is kind of a test okay to test if everything works okay so here uh, this is the main load properties file okay before we start where's our start this is our start start have handlers so before we call the start we have to make sure the handlers has everything right we can do it like this handlers dot uh, for each and it's by consumer so we have a key value and uh, like this uh, okay sorry sorry, sorry. container dot handlers right oh, sorry control z and here we can out key and uh, the value is what the value is uh, uh the value is actually the server letter right this value is actually the http we can use in uil and here which is http http server let okay oh, oh okay and the uil and we actually can using HTTP server letter to call to get. Did I did I implement to get here? To get? Oh, here I didn't implement. Then it's gonna using the default one, right? So now let's run and see if everything. If we can see some to get uh, being called, okay. Then if it's being called, it means everything is successful, right? Yee. <laughs> code right so see sign up which is uh, this url and this do get because we have uh, how in this handler how many uh, key value pair there two right it's only these two right one is hello world one is uh, sign up that's why here one is uh, sign up one is uh, hello world hello sorry here here is a hello and a sign up and here is a sign up and a hello and uh, in hello world this server letter we override that's why when we call do get it call this one but in sign up it call the default one because HTTP server let this one default because we didn't override it while using the parent one right so now everything works so far and uh, um, next video we can do is to uh, process the request okay here uh, for the request information for the request information we just output right now we can process the request and based on the request we can call the server letter. then eventually we can return things back right perfect good and uh, hope you like uh, this and if you have some suggestion uh, let me know but when the time goes I probably will forget what I have done because uh sometimes i see the comments they ask me something about uh, hibernate which is the video i created a long time ago Act actually i already forgot about it <laughs> i have to reopen the project and uh, refresh my knowledge sometimes i don't like it to do anyway uh welcome if you uh if you give me some comment okay I'm really happy if you give but probably I want to reply <laughs> okay anyway uh, thank you for watching bye bye